Uh, I'm, the people at home can tell us what they think. What do you think, guys? Make sure you yep. like, comment, and subscribe. That that firstly. looks pretty good. All right, hang on. I'll I'll show you. How if I look good, this. then like the video. Yep. If I look bad, then still like the video. And if I look amazing, then subscribe. Uh, it's exciting. It's entertaining. <laughs> So today we are going, it's Friday obviously, we're going to have a little bit of a look at um, some clothes and stuff for Friday morning, do a little bit of stuff with brands, and then we are uh, yeah, off to the airport at midday. So we're meeting Louis here, don't know where he is, we took different cars because I'm going to the airport after so we'll try and find him. I'm having so much fun with this camera. Nice. It's so nice. How did I get here before? You did it, I'm here. Tom's the worst driver for anyone. <laughs> Most frustrating driver ever. The best looking driver. <laughs> oh, they do say hot girls can't drive. <laughs> that actually explains me perfectly. <laughs> so we're going to the Oh, it's so crazy. Doors closing. I should get there it is. It's so crazy. Look at the camera. That this is actually Louis's camera that we're running yeah. today. How good? It's pretty sick. So, um, see what happens. Sure. Yeah, just leave it in the sun, break it. Just throw it around like it's yours. Okay. Like mine is yours, mate. Doors <laughs> <laughs> Look at all of this here. Hello. Ooh, it's Ooh, it's it's good. Good. Yeah, it actually looks good. <laughs> You're I, I fit in, don't I? Ultimate vlog. The vlog king. Well, I gotta bring up. I think I gotta bring up the vlogs this year. So this is what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. No, it's up, we're upgrading. We're upgrading. Well, I can eat whatever I want. Gotta carve up. I want to start with a croissant actually. Oh, cheese bucket. Yeah. Doesn't matter. You've gotta eat what you gotta eat before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bro, that is good. Really? Yeah, yeah. Did you get um? Did you get much attention? To a pulp, mate. Dude, I want one of these. <laughs> That's what I want. Yeah, one of these. I'm gonna go all white. I reckon. I think we're gonna get this one as well. So these are the pumps that Lou was talking about. <laughs> Nah, mine, mine were ice hockey skates. Oh. Alright, these are the shoes we're rocking with, I reckon these. One of these. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> uh, so I'm rocking with some of these. Millie! Beagle hey. cross. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, um, What's your dog? Harrier, so hey. the breed is hey. English fox hey. and beagle. Yeah. Hey. Did, she, hey. did she originally hunt? Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> I used to do fox hunting sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah. Out to us. So I'll just send out the things. So, what the hell was that? Wait, we were we were trying to play it cool, and I'm going to talk about what we doing here. That was crazy. And so, he's like, Mate, just play it cool. basically, what happened with that was it was like a brand thing, and basically it was like a PR kind of thing. Um, and we go in, we choose like six to 10 pieces or items from each place and they just send them out to <laughs> for free. <laughs> I'm going this way, I gotta go. Okay, cool. Good luck that was game. crazy. Shoot, and another miss. Nice. 
Dude, this is to be sick. Just watch out. Hey, yo, what's happening? Uh, this is Prime Train Vlog. Hey guys, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> hey guys, watch this. <laughs> Please. Oh. See you, baby. Let's go. Let's go. She said the room was an upgrade, so let's go see if it is. Ooh, it's a little bit bigger. Dude, look at this bed. It's so much bigger than the last one. Nice, I'm happy. So I was like, I'm gonna make this the best vlog ever for you guys, but unfortunately, my videographer and my backup videographer, videographer has also pulled out. So everyone has pulled out, which is just awesome. So I had this in my vision to be like the best vlog ever. Anyway, we'll try and figure it out. We'll try and get someone sorted, but um, at the moment it doesn't look very promising. I'm really sorry, it's out of my control. It's so annoying. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you can find someone. But at the moment, I've got no one. Hey, you know, here we are watching the 18th game before. It's a beautiful night. Yes. It's like 20 degrees. Oh, you've actually very Lovely. Just chewy for dinner. Nah, jokes. 
the man, the big hustle, the goat. That's why he's the goat. Just got absolutely boring out of nowhere. <laughs> Crazy. If you'll see me smash bolts, he's today crossed him over, scored about 10 points on him. Stop getting extra likes. Oh. Bro, shut your dumb little ass up. Go and beat your dumb little ass. You suck. You're wearing glasses on. Uh, rain's so bad. <laughs> so rain. <laughs> it's so. <laughs> so rainy out here. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh, I've been messaging like a hundred people tonight to try and get someone to game day video vlog. Useless. No one, no one wants to. Good morning, it's game day. Okay, have a look at this. This is what it looks like outside at the moment. I don't know if you can see, it's like 10 a.m. And it's like dark and gross outside. I wonder if I can turn up the crazy. Crazy stuff. Anyway, that's what it looks like outside, which is not very nice. I'm going to cut my hair because I'm trying to sleep in a little bit because our game's at four. And um, yeah, I ended up like getting up at like five o'clock and then try to go back to sleep. Anyway, here we are. Let's shave this stupid head. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Oh, I hate this light. Alright, we are off to grab some breakfast. It's pouring with rain here. What the hell is not what we want? Bar. Yeah, fresh here. That's why we're rocking yeah. with flat white at the start of the day. A what? Fresh point. Oh, 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 Pressure point. Terrible. Oh, oh, Look at this here. Beautiful. I love eggs. We're going with the side. A scrambled egg for breakfast and a coffee. This is elite. Let's absolutely smack this. Wait, who's on Spotlight? Spotlight? Bro. Look at it. It's literally started like flooding. Oh my god, it's so wet. Look at it. <laughs> It's like fully pouring out there. Yeah, I might need to turn ISO down. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, now you guys can see. It's pouring rain, man. It, this is legit, look at it. It's legit just filled up in the last like, couple of mins. Bro, this is crazy. It is so fucking wet out there. I shouldn't swear, sorry guys. It is so wet. It's fully pouring with rain. Hopefully that wasn't too dark for you guys to see. Have a look, yeah, it is pretty dark. Anyway, hold on, let me do this. Dude, I'm I'm dominated with this camera, I kind of like it. I'm gonna have to buy one of these cameras for all the, well, I will buy one of these cameras for all the game day vlogs this year. Um, so you guys can get a really good um, cinematic masterpiece. It is so wet. Like I was saying before, it doesn't actually matter how, like where your team finished in finals, like what happened. It just matters that you rock up and play the best game footy and you gotta get in your mind that you're like, I'm gonna go out there and play the best game I can. Thinking back to last year, um, in my final with Noose Tigers, I played not well at all. But playing the game last year, I played shocking um, in the final against Redland. So I've just gotta play well this year. I think that my lift is here because we're about to go to. Anyway, I've gotta go, I've gotta go downstairs. I'm gonna leave this camera here because it's too nice for me to use. But it's pouring outside, man. It's like fully like bucketing down. So the only reason the game would be ever stopped is if there's lightning, but there's no lightning by the looks of it. It's just real wet. It's been wet all week. Um, we wet weather for you, it doesn't matter how good each side is, it's just like willpower. So today's gonna be all about just like how bad you wanna win. Really like that. Um, some of our skill level and talent, when it's dry, can outweigh like will to win. But when it's wet, it's just like whoever is most willing to get a W is gonna get a W. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so excited. This is going to be so much fun. Let's go. 
We've got the buffalo kit on, baby. How big is this camera, dude? This is huge. Massive. Anyway, this is fit. Obviously, got the prime train shorts on. The greatest shorts that you can ever get. We've got some Nurofen. We've got water. That's game day bags. We won't be needing sunnies today. My Rickies. We won't be needing them. Dude, it is like 2 o'clock. It looks like it's like 7 p.m. with how dark it is. It's going to be crazy. All right, just got back to the room. Um, another one of my mates is down getting a little bit of a feed. So I'm going to go down and meet him and then get some water because I am extremely thirsty. Um, obviously, even though it's not like boiling hot outside, you still need to be getting um, as much water as you possibly can in. So that's what we're going to go do. I need to get some European for that anti inflammatory before the game. And I need to get a lot of water as well. That's what I need. All right, ladies and gents, it is about. Here I'm looking so it's still absolutely boring. It's about almost two o'clock. We're on our way to the game. He's doing that flashy thing again. Weird. Anyway, boring. It's gonna be wet day. But that's just how we're gonna play. It doesn't matter. It might help us, it might not. I don't want to analyze the game too much because I just don't know if it's going to help either side. I just know it's going to be wet, it's going to be fun, and unfortunately in wet games, it doesn't matter what you, how good you think you are in the wet or the dry, I don't get into your head too much about being wet or dry, you just have to say like, I'm going to go out there and play footy and give it 100%. You have to do things that you don't want to do, especially in finals. Finals is just a crazy game. It doesn't matter who the other team is. It just matters how good you come out on the day. That's why making finals is so important because it doesn't actually matter how good each team is on the park or how much talent each team has. The only thing that matters is how um, you turn up on the day, how much energy you give, how much you're willing to tackle, chase. And if you take your opportunity as well, taking your opportunity is massive in finals. If you don't kick straight, then you're not gonna win. Fingers crossed that we all kick straight today, including me. But it is very exciting. Like I said, finals doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you finish. Last time we played and we won, we came from fifth. Which is exactly where we finished this year. So, you got to say optimistic. It doesn't matter where you, what position you finished. You just got to get out there and grind, baby. I'm excited. Jeez, it's pouring out here, man. <laughs> We're on our way to the game. Dude, look at it. <laughs> Let's play footy, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Bro, it is so wet. Yeah, we're playing our finals today. Oh, really? What time? 4.15. Oh. You can come watch. Yeah, massive grand stand, so you're undercover. Oh, really? Yeah. And you'll be undercover too, right? No, not us. <laughs> I'll be swimming. Yeah. We're going to be out here, baby. Swimming, Capo, uh -huh. Dude. <laughs> Got Johnny to pick what? us up. What? And the wipers working are working OT right now. Look at these wipers, bro. I ain't never seen anything going that crazy in my life. He's so disgustingly goddamn wet. But we're gonna grind, aren't we? We're gonna hunt, <laughs> baby. Hunt those targets. <laughs> Bro, he's going on. Holes in the, in the back. What is going on there? Mate, they've lost the absolute lot. <laughs> Damn it. I literally wouldn't even know the difference, which one's which. They all look the same to me once you get in them. I wouldn't have any idea. This is the back end of what it looks like. When you come through the... Change room. Umpire's room. That's what I'll be going after if they don't umpire very well. Nah, jokes. Sleeping a while won't fall. No sleeping a while won't it all. I keep down first. I see who I evil when I converse. Not today, say. This I got works. Play my position with his given with no concerns. Go, 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 go. Through there was another Tigers player. They're up and about early. Ping for holding the ball. 
So Pendlebury, he gets away out that far side to Tom Bolsh. A few of the Buffs' big key players getting involved early. He goes in board now to Paddy Bowles, another one of those players who we haven't really seen in recent weeks, but the team just coming together on paper for this in the ground that's on your screen right now. Here's Jackson playing on, going inside 50 for the Tigers, and that's a mark to Pendlebury, good intercept there. He'll look to switch laterally, goes across to Bolsh. He'll play on, touch it on the deck. Good, I like to see players touching on the deck here. George, no point bouncing. It's just going to slip away from you. Goes long down the wing. Nicky tried to pick it up, but it's just bounced off. His has uh, certainly done his bit to play for it. But we had the most touches so far, Coulthard, George. Yeah, solid early on. and Interesting look up from the Buffaloes. Tommy Bolch and Pendlebury playing halfback roles. Brad Stokes playing in the middle as well today. Obviously, the absence of Jared Stokes will be huge. Pulled his hamstring, we reckon, in the third quarter of last week's game. Line. Now he kicks a high one to full forward. Campbell again lurking at the back. Can't do it. Holt Fitz runs in the goal square. He gets the first one. He likes that. And the buffs are on the board. One goal, one seven. They lead the Tigers yet to score. Yeah, good opening goal there. And a lot of passion. Show. Kicks it forward. Bounces beyond a few players. Going in hard there. I think it was uh, Matt Watkins again. Now kick forward inside 50. Stafford with the mark. Just muscled his way through. Couldn't take it though. Holt Fitz comes to ground. Socks it forward to Campbell. 10 metres straight out again, and so it's just barreled in there from Eldridge. And this is Nicky, it is. Held. Ping for holding the ball. Oh, barely took possession there. Umpire's seen it otherwise. Again, you have to look at the rule book on that one. He didn't exactly have direct possession of the ball. Pin for holding the ball, and Hooper there on the replay. Nice snap. Yeah, the small forward's just staying a little bit. Uh, ball comes in. Tap down from Bowen. Snap on goal. Gee, it's a big wow. one, and he likes that. He gave a bit of a double cobra. Great, Great goal to get in to the centre corridor. Falls to ground. Ooh, Tigers potentially in a bit of trouble here. Bolsh picks it up. Wheels round and centres it. A bit too much on it, and it will fall back into the line. But you'd like their work rate so far. Ball goes up, a high one. Bowen. Couldn't really get his hands on in the contest, so we get boot to ball at ground level. Palmer involved as well. Bolsh gets boot to ball in the centre corridor again. Oh, good mark there from Hassan Ahmad Watkins in the corridor. Lead. Ahmad Watkins puts it through and happy with that. Bus skip out to a uh, 13 point lead. Leading the Tigers in their first match up, and I guess over that Christmas period, New Year's, they've kind of. Uh, fell into some uh, average form, I'd say. Also getting involved, very animated, as he usually is. Slung around there was Jackson into the forward pocket. He got it. Hooper out there. Hooper, can he get a second in the first? Gee, not a great kick off the boot, but the Tigers are still lively. Almost held without it. I think that was Gao. Gee, very dangerous there, playing soccer when it could be in danger. Sharples, he just takes it, gets it out of there. That's what I like about him, but the kick is turned over. Probably a bit far out for Robinson to score here. Kicks it forward. Pendlebury gets a handball out. Buffs defence holding very fast. And there's a forward. That might have been Gavin Shepard Greenoff. Tommy Bolsh. The prime train. What's he got in store for us today, George? Seems like he's playing a very good game so far off half-back. Probably utilising his commentator's curse. I was going to say disposal. <laughs> Buffs just doing very well in these wet conditions. Philo will have another go on his left this time. And that's a much better kick. And we'll pick it up, give it back to Bolsh. Bolsh has to go across goal. Needs to hit his target here. Gee, he's just gotten it over the top to the little fella, Hooper. Not too hard when he's as small as Hooper is. <laughs> he kicks it out now. Mark there by... By Coulthard, I think it is. And there's the quarter time siren. So 3-1-19, they've got a two goal lead over the Tigers at quarter time, 1-1-7. We'll be back after this short break. Sake in Mitch inboard and didn't go there. Instead, he went further afield. Now goes over the top. And Nightcliff working it back the other way. Handball over their head. Not too shabby at all, but he's run down. Good tackle. Umpires let it go. Kick forward for the buffs again. Holt Fitz takes the mark in the middle of the ground. And again, you can see that range is slightly getting a bit heavier. He kicks it out to the run of Clark. He'll have to pick it up off the deck. He's got space. He again goes back. Buffs have just been running a bit better. Bradley Stokes, he goes forward to Nicky. And Nyhouse 
gets involved, gets a handball back. Really just, and interestingly, uh, the hitouts are in favour of, uh, oh no, they are in favour of Nightcliff, sorry. They're leading them eight to four, so that's probably expected. Bolsh, he handballs over the top now to Mitch Robinson. Mitch Robinson has a few to beat, gets it back to Bolsh. Bolsh runs from 50 on his left. It's a, not a great kick, just a grub along the ground, beats all comers. But kicking it off the ground there, has it gone through? No, just the wrong side of the post there. That would have been something for the buffs. Hard today, so if I can just keep gaining some ground, that'll help then. Pendlebury, he goes inside the 450, oh, wow. suffered with a beautiful... He ate some bit of a breathing room for the buffs, if he can put it through. That's Good kick, and they're happy with that, aren't they? Certainly. Uh, Daniel Stafford goes back and kicks truly. Adds the Buffalo's fourth goal of the afternoon. and some, Both played very well so far. Bradley's certainly doing well. Ooh, Bolsh couldn't quite take the mark. Run down, great tackle there. Fantastic work. I think that might have been Roger Morris there. In fact, no, it was Jay Moody. That's a good kick for a big fella to Politis. Too far out. Not sure where he wants to go. Play on, try and improve the angle. Not sure if that's a great kick at all. He spotted out Bolton and Palmer. And they'll work together now with Bolt. He tried to go back to Robinson. Handball was a right. Then to Coulthard. Now out again to Palmer. We'll hit him on the half volley. He gets it back to Bolsh. Bolsh will try to give it over the top. You'd think he does. And Palmer will go for a run. He'll get it to Vrodos. Vrodos. And Whelan all doing their job. So too Robinson. Now comes out. Coulthard has also been pretty good. Boot to ball on the ground was Robinson, but it didn't work. So Will Robinson will pick it up. And it goes over the boundary line again. Tigers are pleading for it on the full. Oh, and he hits the post. Milo had to go through his Ruckman's knees there. Gets a handball out now. I think that's, is it Wines? It is. He's wrapped up in a big, strong tackle there from. Oh, the check side. Has it gone through? No, just across the face. Still alive, though. But it's gone through. The Tigers get one through Petros Politis in the goal square. About him. Now Mitchell, he wraps up his opponent in the tackle. Campbell too. Buffs working tirelessly. But now getting through is Edwards. He gets a handball over the top and out of there. Good tackle there from Bolsh. Palmer, in fact, it was Nicky almost in the back. So Bolsh gives to Pendlebury. Pendlebury gets around one. What can he do? Pendlebury goes towards goal. It's across the face, but it'll land in Holtfitz's lap. The conditions won't play any favours. And a number of Tigers ready to smother this, but Fitz certainly looking for a... Ooh, it's a high floater. Not quite score, just out of play boundary throwing. Yep. For his one percenters. Comes in now. Kicks it. He's very happy with that. The double cobra goes straight up as well. Tigers get around him and they reduce the margin to four. And suddenly it's looking like a much closer game. Tigers there to mop it up through Wines. Wines. Hits his target there in Bailey Edwards. Edwards now goes to full forward. Butcher does very well. He'll run into an open goal out the back and kicks a goal. Tigers have two on the board and they hit the front. 4-4-28 above the bus. 4-2-26. Solid goal like that from Butcher. So puts him in front as well, which they'll be very happy with. Robinson, he gets a kick away now. Maroney will dive on it. Did very well there and then just snuck it forward. Tigers, though... Again, they just seem to be building. Oh, gee, that's a big attack on it from Sharples. And he's earned himself a free kick. Of course, across Carlton Blues and the Brisbane Lions. And I reckon he likes the pressure too. Mm. They need this one. It'll put him in front. He plays on. Robinson opens up the angle, kicks towards goal. Oh, so close. It's just... The soccer there, and obviously Hammond heading down low might have given away the free kick as he continues. Gets it out. Moody for his second in the quarter. Check sides it through and he's up and about. Tigers in front by seven. Yeah, an important goal there for... Oh, ducking his head there was Hammond. And they've been pinged for holding the ball. And a 50. Oh, no. It's a free kick going the Tigers' way. I thought uh, he might have given away a 50 there. Goes over. Butcher. Bounces off his hands there, crumbing it perfectly with Gow. He's... Oh, what a tackle that was there from Tanner Coulthard. Still the best on player on the ground. He's absolutely...
is on the boot inside 50. Pendlebury in best position, taps it forward. They get it down again. Now through Jackson. Kicks it into an opposition play. Eldridge run down with it. There's ping, they're pinging for holding the ball. Through. Oh, not a good kick at all. I think it's out on the foot. Hasn't even made the distance, but he's hit up a teammate. And uh, by the look of his ball, he plays on. Goes through and he's gotten it. Tigers are on a roll there. Fourth of the quarter and they move out to a 13-point lead. 6-4-40 leading the bus. Better of him. Here's Robinson out of the middle now. Kicks it to centre-half forward. Stafford should take it easy. He can't. Palmer picks it up. He rolls through. Gets a handball to Mitchell. Mitchell wrapped up instantly in a tackle. Ball pops out. Bus needs to hit the scoreboard this quarter or it'll get away from easy and the ball's gone through Bolsh's hands. Now running through is Roger Morris. Morris loses the ball so Bolsh will turn around and go. He goes forward. Oh, good work there from the defender. To get... um, Matty he's... Campbell, I think, has been quite too. Could he be the spark as Holt, well? Holt Fitz is lurking. And Holt Fitz is just there, in the, or just left of centre of your screen. Goes over the back. Campbell is at the back of the pack. It's gone beyond him. Here's Tommy Bolch. The prime train kicks towards goal. Bounces over oh. the top. Kind bounce. Goal will be really important. Of course, if you're a Buffaloes fan, you're hoping it's going your way. Aaron Stokes has just snuck on. They'll get it to Campbell. Campbell just goes straight down. Oh, good mark back with the flight there from Nicky. Nicky needs this. So too to the Buffs. Against his old club. It's a good kick, but it'll fall short. Bolt, he couldn't take the mark. Bolt, sorry. Now comes up Palmer. Throws it towards goal. Is that gone through? No, nah, just another behind. Crack, and you can hear the Tigers out there. They're not happy. And again, they've done it. Gee, Robinson, well protected there. Kicks forward. Now, Prime Train can't take the mark. There's plenty of Tigers back there. Philo, he'll throw it on the boot and barrel it down. Coulthard at the back, you'd think, should take the mark. Whelan got in the way, though. There's the three-quarter time siren as the rain starts to fall and Robinson on Stokes. Oh, it's getting lively out there now. One quarter to play. For 40 plays for 5.29 and it's a real quick run through the goal scorers of the game, Will. Uh, yes, yeah, so two each in that quarter. The only four goals scored. Two each to Jay Moody and John Butcher and singles uh, for the rest of the game to Hooper, Polidos for the Tigers and for the Buffs. It was Holt Fitz. Rodos, Armad Watkins and Stafford into the game in the bus who need to go quickly, move it forward. Here's Nicky into an open goal. It's a very heavy, wet ball. Will that make the distance? It's through within the first 20 seconds. And look at the Stokes boys in the coach's box. And Coco Nicky is up and about. Has certainly kicked off well in his fourth. Nicky for the buffs. Cuts it down to less than six. Back in the middle, Bowen gets a hit out, goes down, Vrodos gets boot to ball, Campbell will pick it up off the half volley, gets it through to Vrodos again, he goes inside 50, into space, and there's a free kick paid downfield. Down said he's already hit the scoreboard once, can kick him, saw him kick eight last year out at Palmerston. It's a good kick and he likes it off the boot, Buffs are in front after just a minute 50, it's the, uh, the Buffs coach's box a li little bit more ball, now working forward is Gow. Good work from Stokes to get a handball out over the top to Bolsh. He overruns it, though, as a lot of players have in these wet conditions. Just paddled forward by Hammond and Coulthard. He works it forwards. Wouldn't they love a finals win against their old club? Bolsh, he gets in the way there. Oh, good tackle there. I think that was Bowles. Two. Robinson, he gets a handball away after the free kick to Bolsh. Bolsh kicks it high to the top of the 50, comes down, hits the deck. You can see the water splashing up around the players there. It's very wet out there. Stokes to Campbell, Campbell inside 50, run down, beautiful tackle there. Great work from John O'Para in board. He finds Jackson, Jackson goes to the run of Butcher, takes a beautiful mark. Important goal. Ooh, bit to the right, yeah. Doesn't like that one. Pendlebury now goes further to Wheel and, and they've got runners out there. He'll have to go to Bolsh and then keep running himself. Got Eldridge and Nicky a long, long way away, but he goes to Wheel and Wheel will take it and go. Touches it on the deck. Handballs it inboard. Ooh, hesitated there. Goes back to Coulthard. He goes back into Bolsh. Bolsh will run. He's got a runner behind him, but he kicks a long high one. Palmer at the fall of it. Nyhouse got a hand in the way there. Yeah, Vrodos did so well. To get it to a one-on-one -on -one and Polsh 
He gets his hand in the way. Somewhat of a comedy of errors almost happening on that far side. Probably halfway through this one now. Just the two goals scored so far. Pendlebury takes it. He goes inside 50 now. Hits the deck. Toe tap forward again into the pocket. Holt Fitz will try and get to it first, but it's kicked out of there by Paris. And then just socket again forward. Overrunning it though. Oh, Sharples had full intent up. Rodos got a good grab as it breaks out now for the Tigers. Goes beyond Moo. Bolsh is hot on his tail. Handballs it over the top. Coulthard, oh, nearly threw a fist in on his way through. Bolsh diving on it out the back there. Going through it again is Eldridge. He's been pretty good today too. He's in good form at the moment. Ball comes back now to Aaron Stokes. Throws it on the boot. It's a high one out there. Coulthard will have to run onto it. He does. Boundary line though. Beats him. In the middle of the park. Ball goes into the contest. Atkinson just gets a dinky little one out there. Probably gained about 15 metres ground. Not the worst result for them, but they need more than that. Deliberate. There you go. Stokes intercepts it. Now with Bradley Stokes, he paddles it over the top. Tigers could be away here. Gets it to Politis. Politis goes further afield again. Now with Morris. Morris goes down the line. It's a long kick, indirect. Coulthard will pick it up. Handballs it, keeps it alive. Not sure that was the right option. Butcher just throws it on the boot, gets it to full forward. Moroni picks it up. He's got Mitchell out on this side and he'll go to him. And now it could be the bus who are on. They've got some space and time. Oh, he needs to go quickly. Mitchell just sells the candy and lets his opponent dive in the mud. Pendlebury wraps it up. Good smother from Butcher. Sharks it forward with his foot. Doesn't really gain anything. Edwards snaps on goal. Oh, there's a mark at full forward by Moody. It's that man again. He's kicked two in that. Moody comes in. Oh, he's missed. Shanked it. Straight away. There. Goes into the pocket there. Whelan's in the hole. Has to be brave. He is. Philo comes through. Gets around. Robinson tackles him. Strips him of the ball. Pings him for holding. Great tackle. We've seen some beauties today, haven't we, George? Yeah, it's been a very high, hotly contested contest around the ball. As that's a good kick. Robinson spots Robinson, and he'll keep going. Goes to the lead of Stafford. He'll have to take on the half volley. Kicks it up instead. Now getting to it is, I think it's, uh, it's Simon Deary. They're working backwards through traffic. Nicky gets involved too. Wines picks it up, but he's on the fall. Clark tackles him. Ball up at home. His own kick. Robinson gets involved, comes down. Philo stripped again. Gone. Two in a row for Brody Philo. You wouldn't see that often. Vrodos, the tackler this time. He'll just launch it to full forward, you'd think. Bolt, he, fry, he flies. Just sock it out of there into the back flank. And comes to a stop. Campbell picks it up. Try to keep it alive. But I think the boundary umpires have called. He lets it go. Ball still in dispute. Bolsh, he's taken high. Yep. He is. So he'll go back. Robinson wants it. Bolsh, I reckon, can kick as well as Robinson. And as far, he kicks it to the hot spot. Is there a mark? No. Holt Fitz is there, almost held by Paris. As he took the ball, just booted out of there by Edwards. Robinson of the wheel variety can't take the mark, but at the fall of the ball, didn't quite come to penalty as he would have liked, so he tried to go inboard to Bradley Stokes also around the ball there. I think it's Holt Fitz on top of it now. Gee, it's high tensions. 19 and a half minutes gone. Bench trying to keep control of things, though there's not much more he can do at this stage. There, there it, is. it is. Tigers are through. And for the Buffs, it's season over. Just two points the Tigers have gotten up by in a brilliant clash here at TIO Stadium. 6-7-43, they've beaten the Buffalo 6-5-41. The Tigers kick, sorry, the bus hit the first two goal in this final quarter within the first two minutes. And since then, the Tigers just did what they could. A couple of behinds and held on. Who do you see is the best in tonight's game, George? Well, I mean, despite on a losing team, I'd probably have to say Tanner Coulthard, to be honest. So Coulthard, sorry, and... Um, was very resilient for the Buffaloes throughout. I think they did have some solid contributors in Brodos and Sterling Mitchell as well. Um, again, rattling on the Buffaloes side of things. Um, 
yeah, solid contributors there. Like you said, their back six for a long time in that game was uh, holding them strong, and they almost had a chance to run it at late. Um, Tigers, though, we had to see it on the yellow and black side, Will. Yeah, I thought... Uh... up here in the pink camos. What a fucking legend, bro. I love you, man. That's Thanks. so sick. Thanks. Oh. They're off each other, you know, like, oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, and I mean, anyway, <laughs> oh, this is perfect. We've got no mum who come up for the game. Thanks, mum. Great to be here. We've got dad as well. <laughs> Oh, for the game, what legends! <laughs> and then me, we'll see how many of these I drink. This is the first one. We could go, we could go 50. Hello, <laughs> legend. <laughs> this is beer number nine. <laughs> beer number, nine. <laughs> number nine beer for the train. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I've drank nine cotton drafts. Freak! <laughs> Setting a good example. I don't know why this going to be good. Mate, the king's been crowned. Mayberry the or what? The king's been crowned. The king's been crowned. Nah, I don't know about if that, you man. wear that, Mayberry, you would get all the girls. Oh, we'll go anyway. Easy money. money. Yeah, there we go. I'm not missing the bucket after wearing this hat, mate. I'm not wearing a bucket. So good. I'm about three for 27, now be 27 straight. Nice. Hottest guy in Darwin. Jalen Clark. Not next to this bloke. <laughs> mate, look at this bloke. How's that for a goddamn <laughs> bruise? He didn't even play today. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's, last That's from last week. That's from last week. That's from a week ago. That is one of the craziest bruises that I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Everybody, this is Jackson Park NT Football, 50,000 likes on Facebook. Uh, no. Come back to pitch, who are you, Jackson Park? 15 seconds. Oh, hey, look, look, if you want to be up and date. Hey, we're done. All right, Jackson Park. <laughs> <laughs> love him, love the bloke. <laughs> Alright, just posted this. Jackson Clark, NT football. What the average? I'm looking great. Robo's here having a couple. Wheels is here having a couple. What a good throw. He's a guaranteed ton. Guaranteed K likes. Mate, you just don't get this every day, do you? Oh no! Look at this! <laughs> that is so funny! Boy, Prime Train fucking tag me, bro. <laughs> this is what we got to finish off our Sunday. We got Papa Bolch here, Rachel Bolch. We have to say, Rach. Not much. Yep, didn't think so. Also didn't think so much would come out of either of those 
bit mouths. Bit disappointing to lose last night. We would have been happy to come back next week and watch a uh, watch another final. You can go back and watch Nightcliff. Watch Nightcliff this week. Yeah. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's fair. Be in that. And that's pretty much a wrap. Um, it's about midday on Sunday. About to head back to um, Melbs. It's been a fantastic season. Thanks for everyone following along and watching all the vlogs. Obviously, it means the world. You guys are legends. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff running up. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much a wrap for me. Like I said, thank you guys so much. We're going to be absolutely dominating the vlogs um, for Wayne Grader this year. So make sure you guys are tuned in and ready to go for that, for the winter season, because that's going to be crazy. I'm going to get my body right. I've absolutely cooked my leg. I've got, when I got caught holding the ball, dumbest. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll, we'll wrap it up there, and thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And uh, stay sexy, baby.